his constant corral, and I'd like to thank the Halo Choir for letting us come and visit with y'all. Which is tickle pink, or should I say red and green, to be here. You see, we'd like to talk with y'all about a project that's near and dear to our little hearts, and we'd like for y'all to help us out with it. Carol, why don't you tell more about it? Sure thing, y'all. My name's Carol, and I love Christmas, so y'all can just call me Christmas Carol. <laughs> We're here today to tell y'all about our Christmas shoe tree. We collect shoes for those in need, and we use those shoes to help focus folks about us and show them we care about them. And then we'll tell them about Jesus and how much he loves them. How about it, Liza Jane? Yep, it's just like that story in the Bible about the loaves and the fishies. You know, the one where Jesus was preaching to all those folks and realized they were getting powerful hungry, so he fed them. He showed them he cared about them by providing for a basic need they had. And he shared the truth with them. Well, that's what we do with shoes. You know, there's a lot of, awful lot of stories in the Bible that talk about feet and shoes. Did you ever know about that before, Bobby Sue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Bobby. My personal favorite is the one about the armor of God, where it talks about, about getting with ready to tell y'all others about Jesus to get ready. You gotta put on these shoes. The shoes help us carry the good news. Uh, and the shoes we give to, to people help us carry the good news to every person who gets a pair. You know, I like to think of that every time someone looks at a pair of shoes they got from us, that they remember about Jesus and how much he loves and cares for them. It's just incredible how the Lord can use anything, even a pair of shoes, to show how his great love. So if any of y'all have some shoes you'd like to donate, our Christmas shoe tree will be in the church all the way from now up till Christmas. So y'all can have a help in hand. Or should I say, shoes for your fellow man. And woo man. So you sure ain't too politically correct now, are you? Sheesh. Well, anyways, this whole shoe shebang started when Hank over here got this big idea. Well, I don't like the brag, but as Ellen May just said, it, it was kind of my brainchild. You see, it's, it's, it's like this. All my life I've been a barefoot kind of guy. Never cared much about wearing shoes anytime. I got uh, from... If I got a pair for my mom and daddy or anybody else, I just give them away. People were always so grateful getting them, and I was so great giving them. Well, one day I said to myself, Hank, which I call myself, what if you called it, what if you could get other folks to give up their shoes to bless those less fortunate? It was like a million watt LED Christmas light bulb that went off my head. Ain't that right, Baba Sue? It sure is, Hank. And when he told up all of us about his idea, well, the rest is history. Actually, our pal over here, Carol, wrote a little song about that we've been working on. Would y'all like to hear it? I said, would y'all like to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, partners, giddy up. We're going to do a little singing and dancing. Ladies and gents, the Christian Cowboy Kids Concert Corral proudly presents the debut of our newest song. Hit it, Dave! <laughs>